Today, all is dry in Western Joliet's Hunter's Ridge neighborhood, but images of flooding like this from last weekend still haunt the Mendoza family. Extremely emotional at the time and terrified for our well-being. Water from heavy rains on Sunday came streaming from across Ridge Road into their backyard and then burst windows in the basement. And our son noticed and heard all the explosions of the windows and he started hyperventilating. About six feet of water filled the house, damaging everything in the basement. It's the same for many neighbors along Cahokia Street like Jason Garcia. Children's clothes, a Nana refrigerator stocked up before COVID-19. The food. Garcia and his neighbors say this should have been avoided with better planning and communication. The builder that didn't disclose that this area flooded because of all the extra water we get from the farms. Both families just moved into their homes last year. You know, four or five houses in one neighborhood is not an act of God. It's, it's something that wasn't built right. Neighbors point to this as the problem, a concrete like structure in their backyard that should act like a funnel. It's supposed to help drain water from the farm across the street into a creek. It really failed. It failed. Families also want answers from the city that they say at the very least approved this plan. Basically our house stands in the middle of a river. The huge headache for the Mendozas is that insurance only covers a fraction of the $20,000 in losses but the most valuable loss. I think, Safety. yeah. And I did get through to Joliet's director of public works who does place most responsibility on that builder. He says he will reach out to reevaluate this flood mitigation plan, but can't promise an immediate or quick fix here. Reporting in Joliet, Stephen Graves, CBS 2 News. The builder, Lennar Holmes, tells CBS2 the weekend rain was historic and they are working with the city to build a permanent drainage solution.